everything just costs. Everything is just expensive. Nothing is cheap. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to film this video. Obviously, if you have been new to my channel, you probably seen me looking at crusty most of the time. But you know what? I thought I'm gonna make an effort for you guys. You know, just to remind myself that I still got it. Just to remind all my new subbies that I do have it too. I don't always look <laughs> the way that I have been in my videos for the past, I don't know, two or three months. But also, I just wanna say, Thank you so much to everyone that's uh, newly subscribed and everyone else that's all been here from day one. Thank you guys for sticking around. I know that sometimes I don't film videos, but thank you for sticking around and staying with me till now. If you have not yet subscribed and you are watching, sort it out. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about my renovation process, what I learned as I was going along, any regrets that I might have, um so yeah if you want to see this video please stay tuned don't forget to like comment subscribe and share it if you enjoy this video right so i'm gonna take you guys right from the start when i got the keys for this house what my plan was going ahead i mean i've written some notes so if i'm looking down it means i'm just looking at what i've written down um grab yourself a cup of tea because this video might be long or water i'm having a bit of water because uh, my throat does dry up a bit because i talk a lot <laughs> so when i got the keys my original plan was just to have the bathroom upstairs renovated as you guys know if you've been watching my videos you would know that there was no toilet upstairs uh, there was just a bathtub and a sink so my plan um, was to just get that bathroom redone and then just get the flooring done that was it that's the sort of like but that's what I had budgeted for in my head because you know I've never done this before but I was like you know what I don't have a lot of money right now um so you know I'm just gonna get the bathroom done and the flooring and then I can live in it and then as I go along I can sort of like change bits bits and bobs as I go Right, okay, so we've got a builder, someone that we know, he's done work before my parents' house, it's someone that we trust and you know, we know that he knows what he's doing. Well, me and my parents told him what I had wanted, so just the bathroom and the floors. Okay, that's what we agreed on. Right, so at this point, work for the bathroom has started, everything was going well. Um, I knew what I wanted, I wanted like a black and white theme in the bathroom. Um, so my mum was really good and she helped me pick out stuff for the bathroom and then, um, when that was coming sort of like towards the end and we we're talking about putting the floor in next my builder then pointed out which i personally hadn't realized because you know i did i wasn't looking like that he was like you have got concrete skirting boards and to be honest i personally hadn't realized that and he was like you know what to be honest with you i know you just want to you know do the floorings and then think about everything else after but the best thing to do would be remove all the skirting boards in the living room and the two bedrooms upstairs and then plaster everything and then put the floor and then put the new skirtings that was not in my budget that is not exact that is not what i planned i just thought to myself it's a lie it's a it's a lie it's a, it's a joke you having a laugh i was like really okay so after I sat down and, and spoke to my parents a bit about what I should do uh, going forward, trying to figure out what the best thing to do was, because obviously I didn't have a lot of money. Most of the money had gone towards my deposit and lawyer's fees and everything. Another one thing I'd say I regret actually is not having saved up enough, but I was at the point where I had a deposit and everything like and money for like the fees and everything but i didn't have like a lot of money saved up i could have waited and saved up more but i found a house that i wanted so i just sort of like went for it and thought i'm just gonna wing it as i go don't do that <laughs> save up i decided like the best thing really to do and i think my parents sort of agreed with me was just to go for it and have everything done despite the cost um so just get the whole house plastered uh, get new skirting boards and then uh, have the flooring put down when everything has been painted and done up properly and I'll say one thing I've learned throughout this whole renovation thing is that if you've got a house 
you might as well do things properly as you go along because you don't want to not do something properly and then having to go back in the future and then having to have to do it again that I feel like that's going to cost you more whereas now it's done like it's done you don't have to think about it again and it's done properly and it, it will last you for a very very long time so once that decision was made then spoke to the builder and I was like you know what yeah let's just go for it do everything and then there were other costs that I didn't actually think about or factor in into the whole thing things like skip hire it was like 200 pounds to hire a skip I think for like a couple of weeks it was and that's something that I hadn't even thought about at all <laughs> you don't even factor in these costs at all so now fast forward to the house has now been plastered and it needs painting in my head again I'm like you know what I'm going to save money because I don't have a lot of it at the moment I'm just going to save money and I'm going to paint the whole house myself so that's the oh yeah the kitchen was plastered as well so I thought I want to paint the whole house myself I'm just going to paint the kitchen the living room the two bedrooms and the stairs that was just yeah I wasn't thinking properly because it was just a lot of work and at that time I was working every day nine to five so it would have meant that the only time I had was to paint at the weekends so so this meant that I had to pay someone to paint the whole house uh they would have done it properly and probably quicker faster time than I would have so that was another cost that I had to factor in that I hadn't really thought about and also paint is expensive paint is so expensive i had no idea because you can't really use the paint that you use to paint your walls to paint on your doors because there's different types of paint there's satin there's glass there's matte there's there's all kinds of paint there's paint for wood paint for plaster paint for fresh plaster paint for i don't know outdoors paint for tiles <sighs> yeah i learned a lot about paint <laughs> And the fact that it is expensive so that's another thing that I had to sort of like factor in into the cost um, so I was working while the renovations were going on so I was able to sort of like pay for things as I was going along so I didn't really have like a pot of money put aside specifically for the work I was just sort of like doing some of it as I go I mean I did have some money but it wasn't like enough to cover everything at the same time it was more like I get paid I, I and then I pay for things so then I paid for the painting to get done and then the flooring was put in as well as getting someone to paint the whole house when the new doors and skirting boards were put in they needed painting and in my head again I was like yeah I'll paint for that I'll paint that myself honey I will paint that myself I will take my time and just paint it as a girl when I moved in no that was never gonna happen I just looked at it and I thought this is a lot of work it is a lot of work and I just can't and another thing well that I've learned about myself during this whole process is the fact that I absolutely hate painting with a passion I hate painting I don't know about you tell me in the comment section are you a paint lover or you a paint hater because I hate it I cannot I cannot so once again I decided that it was just a good idea to pay someone to come and do the painting because they'll do it faster and they'll do it a lot better than me because I hate it I'm probably just gonna like not do it as well and I'd rather the finish be perfect than you know the money because the paint to do is gonna last me ever a long time so if it's done well and it doesn't need to be done again then it saves me money in a way um, so obviously I had to buy paint. I didn't want gloss finish. I wanted like a satin finish and I'm very 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 happy with how they turned out. Painted perfectly, excellently and the skirtings as well look good. Um, very very happy with that. So another thing that I hadn't thought about that needed redoing were the electrics because my house is quite an old house. Um, the electrics that were here were old and everything the system the whole system just needed updating uh, some of the plugs needed changing so that was another thing that I had to pay for to get sorted again I hadn't budgeted for that I hadn't factored that in um, so you know think about it think about that the kitchen was one room that I did most of the work in apart from painting so in the kitchen the kitchen is the only place that I actually know the exact costs for Whereas everything else, I'll probably just round it up to about maybe eight grand, including the work, 
the building materials and my builders were very kind of, as well to me and did something for free and didn't charge me as much as they probably would have i think it just felt sorry for me because they just could tell that i'm just broke but the kitchen is the only place that i am very like sure of how much I spent in there and I'm happy to share that um I didn't do the painting in there um the guy that did the painting painted the whole house including the kitchen so I did the cabinets which was a DC fix there's a video if you haven't seen that there will be a link in the description I did the cabinets so DC fix I changed the handles and then I painted the tiles so for the kitchen, it was £15 for the handles and I got those from Amazon and then £8 for the DC fix, I got that online from Create Your World I think and then the paint for the tiles, I got that from Tool Station, it was £18 and then I put silicon on the edges where the counter is and the wall uh, the silicon was about £3 and then I had to buy myself a silicon gun because I did it myself I asked my builder to show me actually how you do it properly because I was like, I want to do it myself, I want to do it myself. <laughs> so the silicon gun was £5. So altogether it was um, £121 for the kitchen to like renovate it, well, to sort of make it look nice um, for now. My long term goal or plan for the kitchen will be to get it completely gutted out. Hopefully I would love to have it extended because I've got a lot of space in my garden. I've got quite a big garden I'd love to have it extended. So I thought to myself there is no point in me Especially now that I don't have money. There was no point in getting the kitchen done because I just thought if I'm gonna do it properly I would do it properly all at once. So right now I'll just make it look nice and livable in and it looks decent for what it is to say I only spent 121 pounds to sort of bring it to what it is and when people say that oh my god your kitchen looks nice I've, I've had a lot of compliments but it didn't need to be like a lot of work done it was just like cosmetic and that was it so the kitchen was really straightforward and simple and as I said long term I'd like to get that completely gutted out extended so the kitchen is bigger maybe have like a space for a dining room area because I have space to do that and it's just all about money money and then the outside toilet i've got a downstairs toilet now is completely done um that needed doing as well it was a horrible yellow color so that was plastered and painted and as i said in my previous video that i wanted a toilet with a sink on top <laughs> i keep talking about this toilet with a sink on top a lot <laughs> but i managed to find one on ebay and when it was delivered it was unusable like the toilet itself was smashed pieces the basin had a little crack in the corner it was just like badly packaged and the delivery people just didn't do a good job of like looking after it but i'm just grateful that i was able to get my refund for my money so um i got all the money that i paid for it which was i think 199 pounds and then um the seller said i could keep the rest of the stuff that was usable and i thought you know what i got this for free now practically and you know it's a little chip on the sink corner and it's a downstairs toilet i'll still use it and all i had to do was to my mom got me a new toilet for downstairs and that was fitted in and it looks nice and i just think that for a downstairs toilet it's practical um and that's all that i wanted to make it look nice and the whole way um just before you go into the toilet between the toilet and the kitchen a couple of days ago i painted it all white i originally wanted to paint to paint it well i still want to paint it like a a really like light candy baby pink type of color paint is just like expensive and really at the moment i don't really have money to be buying paint so i decided to just use up all the paint that i bought already which is a lot of white paint so i painted the doors which were like green color the bathroom well the toilet door had to be changed because the toilet had moved forward so you couldn't open the door so i had to get one of those bifold door and that was another cost it's like little things that need paying for that you just pay for like as you go and you end up sort of like not really sure how much you spent because some of it you're just paying for it there and then one thing i'd say i regret is probably maybe not writing everything down in terms of like how much i paid for things on some sort of spreadsheet so that i can keep track of everything i would have liked to know the exact figure of what I'd spent. I'm sure if I can go back, I'm sure it, like I could figure it out if I went back and looked at all my bank statements. But anybody had time for that, it's done. Um, so 
Yeah, I painted everything white and for now it made the space open up a bit and it looks a lot cleaner. Um, I'm happy with it and it'll do, it'll do me for now. As a first time buyer, there were other costs that I really hadn't thought about at all. All I thought about was just a mortgage payment. I didn't think about things like council tax. How much is that going to cost you? So if you can, if you're looking for a house, also try and look into what the band would be and how much roughly you'd be expected to pay for that each month and sort of like calculate that with your mortgage payment because you don't want to be, you know, left with zero money at the end of the month just because you can afford your mortgage payment. There's other things as well that you need to think about. So council tax, uh, just try and do, a re do your research and figure out how much it is. TV license. I didn't think about that and you know what I well the thing is I knew that you have to pay for a TV license but I never knew how much it was in my head I thought it was like 50 pounds so I am researching I'm looking at a TV license I don't have a TV at the moment but when I do I'm gonna have to pay for a TV license but I don't have a TV at the moment everyone says my house is boring but you know I just entertain myself currently TV license is 157 pounds 50 pence a hundred and fifty seven pounds fifty pence for a TV license. I mean I'm sure that's not a lot of money to other people but damn I genuinely thought it would be like fifty pounds for the year and you can't even pay for it in installments you have to pay for it all at once and if you're a single person you live by yourself like me and it's only your income that you're relying on it's a lot it's a lot like your mortgage payment TV license and then water there is water I chose to not have a meter and just have it, you know, use as much as you want, but just pay for the water bill for the year. My water bill is at £552.98 for the year. I mean, it's a lot of money and I didn't think about that. I had, I didn't factor that in. I didn't factor it. All I thought about was the mortgage payment, the electricity and the gas that's it i don't really think about council tax tv license water and all that stuff but those are the things that you need to be sort of like roughly calculating into your calculations just to see you know if you can afford <laughs> if you can afford it because it's hard out here it's actually hard so for me overall my experience has been you know it's been good there's times where i've cried times where i've laughed times where i felt really sad um, times where I have thought what did I do why decide why did I even decide to like do this on my own um, but I had my parents with me you know being my supporters advisors have my mom to be grateful for you know she's my big rock bestie bestie but you know overall my experience was good uh, it was a learning experience I learned about myself um, I learned about you know buildings and paint and all kinds of stuff so I, I've enjoyed it um, despite sometimes wishing that I had a partner to do it with because I kind of feel like you know some of the burden would be taken off my shoulders because there's still a lot of work that needs to be done here I just I'm not done I've literally only I've only just started I mean it's livable in but there's so much that Sin is doing for example the gas ring needs sorting out that's like my next thing on the list that is my next thing that I need to save up for and get that sorted the fencing outside needs sorting out just the whole of outside just needs um, the sorting out there's just a lot of things that still need doing but I, I'm just grateful that I'm at this point that I'm at. I am just so grateful having achieved what I achieved on my own and having parents that were just so supportive and always pushing me in the right direction. I loved to shop. I mean, I still love to shop. I'd have parcels coming in every week from ASOS, pretty little thing, new look everywhere. I'd be shopping everywhere. And looking back, my mum would always say to me like, have you saved up this month? Are you saving? I'm like, yes, I am saving. But I feel like I could have saved up a lot more if I hadn't been buying so many clothes and so many shoes. But I don't regret that because I'm still here where I am. Um, and because, you know, of her encouragement and of always having her voice in my head, I felt like that's always kept me grounded to just keep on doing the right thing and you know it got me to where I am so I am very very grateful so we've now come to the end of the video and just to sort of give you a guys like so overall just to summarize my renovation process I had a good 
process. I had, you know, supportive parents behind me. I had a really good builder and I felt like everyone worked together really well, despite the fact that I wasn't really here most of the time being at work when the renovations were being carried out. My parents were sort of like here, popping in and out, making sure that things like were done. And if, you know, if money was needed, my dad was always, you know, too quick to text me, too quick to call me, be like, uh, yeah, you need to send that uh, money right now, it's needed. Okay, dad, sent. <laughs> and in terms of costs, really i'm just gonna let's say like uh, as i've said before an over a figure of around eight grand and at the moment also someone requested a get to know me video so if you guys want me to do a get to know me video put your questions in the comment section of this video and i'll make sure that i answer your questions because i feel like i've got new subscribers probably you don't know me at all and if you're looking to buy a house on your own I've had a few comments people saying, my God, that like, I can't believe you've done it on, your, on my own. People always tell me that I can't do it by myself. It's so expensive, it's so hard. Yes, it's expensive. Yes, it's so hard. But yes, you can do it. So if you are by yourself and you're thinking of buying a house, yes, you can do it. Just keep focused on your goals and don't listen to people, haters, telling you that you can't do it because you can okay but yeah that's the end of this video i hope you've enjoyed it and please please i said please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe subscribe that would help me out so much as always i appreciate you guys for watching i love you guys for watching i'll see you guys on my next video thank you guys so much for tuning in